Hey guys, if you're seeing the security health history.exe bad image error message at startup and your Windows security is also not opening, it likely means your Windows Defender has been compromised. That's why you are getting this error message. This usually happens when a malware is blocking your security components, causing a bad image error. To fix this issue, follow this method and get your system back to normal. Remove the altered policy To remove the virus and threat protection spans by your organization, run some command codes. We have already mentioned this code in the video description box and also on my Google Blogspot website. You can also get the code from there. Now type cmd to open the command prompt as an administrator. and paste the entire code there. It will automatically fix the altered policy. Once done, restart your PC. After restarting, please keep in mind, do not open the Windows Defender at any cost. Make Windows Defender Enable Tool Now we have to make the REST tool that will enable the Windows Defender software. So go to my Google Blogspot website and copy the entire code from there. Next, open Notepad and give the file a random name as malware can block specific file names if they are recognized. Open the text file, paste the code inside and save it with the reg extension. Now run the reg file by doing the following. Select the reg file, right click and choose merge. Although it might show a need privilege message, most of the registry entries have already been added to the registry editor. To confirm this, open Windows Defender again and you will see it showing something different with a restart now button. However, it is still not fully activated, so we need to take ownership in the registry editor to make it work. Now restart your PC again and this is the mandatory step. Take ownership in the registry editor. Now we have rebooted our PC again and we have to change the ownership of specific registry folders, which is window defender and features folder. But before proceeding, we should take the backup of these folders. To do this, search for regedit.exe and open it. Navigate to HK Local Machine, Software, Microsoft and select Windows Defender. Now take the backup and save it to your desired location. Now under the Windows Defender folder, find Features folder, right click on it and select Permissions. In the advanced settings, change the owner from system to your username. My Windows username is 123, so I'll type 123 and click on the Check Names button. It will automatically select your username. And don't forget to check the box for replace owner on subcontainers and objects. Now go to add, click on select a principal, type your username again, click on check names, 
and click OK. Click on Show Advanced Permissions. Select Full Control and it will select all the permission. Click OK. Now press the Apply button. Then OK and OK. That's it. Now we have granted the permission to our user profile and you'll need to do the same process for the Windows Defender registry folder to complete the task. Let's see it again in the fast forward. Now restart your PC again. Well, we have rebooted our PC again. Now we need to run the reg file again. And this time it will add all the entries without any error message. But if you are still receiving the registry error message, follow the previous step again. After that, restart your PC. Once the PC has started again, do not open Windows Defender or any other application for at least 30 seconds. Now system is booted again, open the Windows Defender again and you will see it is asking you to turn on protection. That's we need. Go ahead and turn all the protection shields. and your Windows Defender will be fully activated again. That's it. Although this step is optional, it is highly recommended to update Windows Defender after enabling it. You can do this through the command prompt. So open command prompt as an administrator. And type the command to check for updates. If your Windows Defender is outdated, it will automatically update your Windows Defender. If no update is available, it will let you know. Once completed, simply type exit to close the command prompt. Now your PC security is fully up to date. Press the Windows key, type cmd and run the command prompt as an administrator. Once it opens, you need to run the following three repair commands one by one in the correct order. So copy the first command from the video description box, paste it here and press enter to execute this command. This will scan the system image for any corruption issue. This is the next command, copy it from the description box, paste it here and press enter to run it. So let it finish. Finally, run the SFC scan using the third command. This scan will check for and repair any corrupted or missing system files which can help resolve various system problems and improve stability in your system. So let it finish. Once all three commands are done, restart your PC and your problem should be gone. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.